Hello children, it's your boy Yusagra. So quite a while ago I made a video which is called a 2000 pound plus setup and it's that thing, the whole thing, yeah. So this time I'm gonna do an in-depth tour of this because I've got new subscribers and they really want to see a setup tour. And most of the £2,000 stuff is unnecessary, but I chose to get it because why not? But the main stuff is really affordable and it's great for new starting YouTubers. I tried to go as cheap as possible other than this seat, which is kind of expensive. I tried to go as cheap as possible so that um, other people can relate. Because I don't want to go blasting £1,000 on a microphone or something, because that's, that's weird. I won't do that. Uh, you can see I got my fresh crepes on. These are called the um, Balenciaga Triple um, Vs. They're called the school shoes. <gasps> Why did I do that? Okay, I should stop doing that now. So, first starting us off, um, it's quite an obvious thing. The seat. This is a GT Omega RS6 seat, which is, I got it from GT Omega. It's £140, which is, it's okay. This is called the RS6 seat. You could have gotten an RS9 seat, which is slightly bigger. Um, these plastic things, I think are metal. These seats do remind me of like Audi seat, you know those B7 RS4, those seats, it's really similar to that, it's great build quality and when you when you unbox this and smell it, it smells amazing, I'm brown but I actually look, like, look I'm white and brown, okay, I'll stop, so the seat is unnecessary but I chose it because I have a wheel which I'll get onto next and if you want to get the seat then you need to get these sliders and this frame thing, this this section costs £50 I think. Also unnecessary but I got it because why not. So if you're starting then I don't recommend you to get this but if you want to do sim racing then it's good. It's good value. So this is the GT Omega Gearshift V2 stand. The V1 it connects from here and goes up like that but I can't do that because of this seat thing. So I had to get the V2 one and I prefer the V2 one because it's, it's a better placement for shifting gears. This is the GT Omega wheel stand and this is dusty this is 100 pounds i think 99.99 on amazon you could get this or you can get a cheaper option which i'll um link in the description down below so you can get cheaper ones for like 60 50 pounds but this is 100 so yeah the reason i got this one is because the cheaper ones have a line going along here like a bar here would be in the middle so um it would disrupt the pedals that's why i got this so the seat the sliders the frame this gt omega wheel stand and uh Gear shift, gear shift mount will all be in the description down below so check that out it's good value for money i believe moving on to this this is um i don't know how you pronounce it i think it's a this is a newer i think newer 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 it's a newer um microphone suspension arm thing and it's pretty cool because like whatever you move the microphone stays the same and I get onto the microphone in a second. So this is really, really good value for money, I'd say. It got this for £15. The build quality is really good. Okay, so this is the pop filter, which is not the best, I'd say. It breaks a lot, but then again, it is only £2 and it gets dusty a lot. So this is only £2 on Amazon. I'll link it in the description as well as this. And um, this is the Blue Snowball, which is a good affordable mic, good... Um, good value for money this is good i recommend it link in the description if you want to buy it moving on to the wheel this is the logitech g920 racing wheel so um a lot of people get mixed up between the g29 and the g920 the g920 is compatible for pc and xbox but the g29 is compatible for pc and playstation some differences are the g29 has this thing here which is like you adjust something and something here as well and it's got like lights along here like to indicate the revs and it went to change gears and stuff i haven't cleaned this in a while that does not feel clean it's a decent wheel it's got 900 degrees of rotation that and the other way around one thing i like about this wheel is that it's the first wheel which i had force feedback on but it's really snappy when you drift or something or when you're driving you just suddenly do this or something and it it hurts your arm and it's scary when you're just driving like, it's like a jump scare but with a with a wheel how can wheels be scary? We'll never know. So it's wrapped in leather as you can see and it's got a metal ring here to indicate something which is cool. And it has this brushed aluminium, no not brushed aluminium, just a brushed finish. Wire management is really good in this thing. It has little bridges to direct the wires, hence why um, 
you can't see many many wires hanging out there so this is the shifter the shifter does not when i bought this wheel it came with the pedals by the way those are the pedals the shifter does not come standard with the wheel so you need to get the shifter separate and it originally comes with a plastic knob which is really flimsy and cheap and feels like you're shifting a shifting a um i don't know shifting it i'm really bad at similes but this it's got a bit more weight to it and it feels more like a real car however i wish i could get the tha taste shifter and make it compatible with this if that's possible let me know but i don't know anything about this it's it's it's, it's okay so the wheel and pedals will be linked in the description so with the shifter as well as the custom knob if you would like to buy it and i recommend if you get this shifter then you need to get this knob okay so this is something i didn't talk about in the other setup video but this is a okay none of this is sponsored but this is a tp link wi-fi extender so if you don't know where i'm recording is a shed that that's my actual house there because my root is in there in that house i need to get a extender to get the thing here. I wouldn't have believed it would have worked but it does work and um, I'm, it's, it's, it works like a charm. I don't remember the price of it but if you're interested in this then I'll link it in the description and you guys can check it out but I do recommend this it's really good and handy. I don't know how it works but it's good. This is the capture card. This is not sponsored again but Jesus Christ this is such good value for money. This if you can't afford an Elgato, you need to get this. You just need to. So Elgato's shoot in 1080p 60fps. If you're a beginning YouTuber, you don't want to go all out, then you can get this. This is 1080p, which is really good, but it's 30fps. It's really easy to use. You just put a memory stick in there. You plug this to your Xbox, which can be hard, but when you get used to it, then it's easy. It has red when it's recording, and then when you press it again, it does this flashing thing and then it stops recording which is great don't worry about these things because i never use them yet my videos turn out to be fine <laughs> it's really simple to use it does feel really cheap though yeah it's really cheap everything's plastic on this i think but it's really really good value for money elgato's are like what 100 quid this has only set me about 40 i think uh i'll link this in the description down below i highly highly recommend you get this because i've got lots of people asking me how do i record my clips and stuff like that i use dvr but if you want to get a capture card this is the way to go if you're a beginner if you have slightly more money then get the elgato but this it's great value for money. I can't stop boasting to Hyrax about it. It's, it's mental. It's act not sponsored. <laughs> it's actually mental. So when you get this, surprise, surprise, it comes in a box and this is the box. Now we've come to the final part of the thing. Yes, we have. Oh yeah. Yes, we have. Plug this in. Oh, did you see that? That was sick, wasn't it? And now i'll go here oh well that's well that's beautiful i lost the remote okay i was gonna show you um this led strip along here but <laughs> i've lost the remote somehow so if you want to buy this link in the description i don't know what it's called but i know some big youtubers use it i think linus tech tips uses it i'm not sure but it's cheap it's high quality and i recommend it and it's flexible so it's a tin cam okay so if you if you want to get it then yeah it's Income. anyways yeah that's my setup the oh you might be wondering why i got this but it's because something damaged this i some, i think something was put on it don't put heavy stuff on this you can it won't break but it might damage the leather so that's my in-depth tour of my setup like the video share it subscribe comment down below any questions i'll be sure to answer any of them if they're normal questions again link is in the description for anyone who's wondering about any of these things yeah peace